What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video I've got the best team for 40k MT, and this is post market crash. This team would have been probably over 100k a week ago, well apart from the new cards obviously, but um, yeah this guy, team is 40k MT. And to be honest, uh, depending on when you're looking at the market, it could be anywhere between 40 and 50k, but I picked up these players for 40k on Friday when I'm recording this, so... The prices may have gone up when I make this video. At the point guard, we have got a shooting guard, and it is Amethyst James Harden. Unfortunately, unlike the diamond, he doesn't get 99 system proficiency and um, playing point guard, but he's still a beast at that position. Comes with 15 bronze badges, but I picked up one with a few upgrades. I picked one for 13k, which was not bad at all. He has got unbelievable stats. 84 post fadeaway, driving layup of 97, open shot mid 95, open shot 3 of 93, ball control 96. He's got an 85 free throw. He's also got 80 lateral quickness, which is not bad at all. He's got an 85 steel, which is good. Driving dunk of 84, driving dunk tendency of 95, which is good. 93 speed, 90 speed with ball, 93 acceleration, really good. And for 13K, this is the single best value card in my team, and it's not even close. No way will a card as good as this be this cheap, probably for a long time. But um, anyway, now we're gonna go into the two. But anyway, at the two, we have got Chris Middleton. 1,000 MT, exactly 1,000 MT. Chris Middleton, 90 defensive overall, 89 offensive overall. Those are three bronze badges. He has got a 90 driving layup. He's got an open shot mid 94, open shot three of 92. 88 free throw, 80 ball control. He's also a great defender, 88 lateral quickness, steal of 95, on ball defensive IQ 88. He's got a driving of only 55, which is not great, but 84 speed, 77 speed with ball, 82 acceleration. Driving intensity of 85 is not bad. This card, so, so good. Again, one of the best value cards in the game. 1,000 MT for this card. He's also big for a two, big enough for a two guard as well at six foot eight. So honestly, he can lock people down, he can hit threes, and he's quite fast. A beast of a card for this cheap. The three, we have got Richard Lewis, who I picked up for five and a half K earlier, but I did actually see one of them for 3,000 MT. Richard Lewis, 87 defense overall, 94 offense overall. Gold, catch and shoot, tire score, difficult shots, deep range, deadline, corner specialist. He's got post fadeaway of 79, post hook 74. Open shot made of 90, open shot 3 of 90 as well, with an absolutely money release. He has got 70 ball control, which is not great, to be honest. Not the best rebounder, 81 lateral quickness, not terrible, especially because he has a 6'10 small forward, so he's really tall. 81 lateral quickness will help a lot. Shot contest 92 is good, steal, okay, of 75. Ambal defense like you, alright. Low post defense like you, decent of 80. 75 driving dunk with a tendency of 85 is not bad at all. 79 speed, 74 speed pass, 79 acceleration. Could be better, but not bad either. And for this cheap, you cannot go wrong with a card like this. Being a 6'10 small forward is huge. At the four, we have got Carl uh, Malone. 4,000 MT right now for this am Amethyst. 4,000 MT. Comes with two Hall of Fame badges and 14 gold badges. And he's 4,000 MT. Like, 92 open shot mid, 75 open shot three, and he's money from the corners. 96 post fadeaway, 94 post hook. He's got um, great rebounding stats. He's a good defender, 85 block. His dunking's really good. 90 standing, 85 driving dunk, really, really nice. 80 speed, great for power forward. All his dunk tendencies are either 85 or 80, so he's an absolutely incredible card. Also, is 99 in most system proficiencies. Well, all of them except for Grit and Grinder, he's 98, Pace and Space, and Triangle. Is anyone 99 in Triangle? It seems like everyone's low in that uh, system proficiency. But anyway, that's not the point. This card is, again, up there with Harden as one of the best value cards in my team. And for 4K MT, he's as good as the majority of 100K players. And the five, we have got, of course, we got Larry Sanders, one of the best defensive cards in the game. 99 defensive overall, comes with three gold badges, Chase and Artist, Rim Protector, and also Rebounder. He's 6'11", which is his only real downside, except, and also he's not the best offensive player. Isn't gonna have much of a post hook or fadeaway, but has a okay open shot mid of 70. He'll hit them when he's wide open. Free throw of 62, but look at his free throw percentage for me. So one from 1.1, so he's 10 of 11 free throws for me, even though he's got a low rating. He's got 34 ball control, not the best. Unbelievable rebounding stats. He's got 86 lateral quickness, which is really good for a 6'11 player. He's got 96 block, 90 steal, on ball defense IQ of 92, low post defense IQ of 97. Driving to him 90, standing at 95, with tendencies of uh, 80 and 90. So honestly, he's an absolute beast. 82 speed as well. He can get to the basket and dunk really, really well, and isn't that much of a liability on offense, and he's one of the best defensive cards in the game. So now we're on to the bench. At the point guard position, we have got a 4K MT um, Ruby player, and it's Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler, 
so good. So, so good. Comes with five bronze badges. But um, he's got 95 driving layup. He's got an open shot made of 80, which is not the best. Open shot three of 86 with a nice release, which is really good. He's got 94 free throws. He's got 86 ball control, so he can speed boost. He's also got 92 lateral quickness, which is really good. He has got um, steel of 90, which is really good as well. On ball defense, like of 90, so he's a lockdown defender. He's also 6'7 and can just dominate the point guard and can be used as like a Penny Hardaway or a LeBron stopper because most people run LeBron at the one now. 88 speed, 86 speed by 80 acceleration is decent. Decent driving, dunk tendency, and just an overall beast of a card. And the two I'm going to go with a small forward, and it's Mark Aguirre. Mark Aguirre is so, so good in this game. He's got five gold badges, bruiser, open on a specialist, drop step, relentless finisher, and post spin technician. He's, you're going to want to run him in the post. Like, he's just one of those players that you don't want to use him as a spot-up shooter. You don't want to use him as a slasher. Use that 96 post fadeaway and 95 post hook as well as those post badges to your advantage because he can absolutely dominate in there. 88 open shot mid is not bad at all. 77 open shot three if he's wide open. You can hit them with a nice release. Not the best ball control. Defense is passable but not great. Um, driving of 80 is all right, I guess, with a tendency of 85. Speed speed ball acceleration is decent but nothing incredible you're going to want to basically use them just to abuse the other team's shooting guard in the post the three we have got one of the most underrated cards in the game the glue guy Otto porter sapphire he has got really good defensive stats which is why he's much better than the emerald and is 1k mt right now because of the new market crash he's got an open shot mid 97 open shot three of 87 with a really nice release in my opinion like not the best of dribble because of his release but his release from the catch is cash in my opinion he's got 83 free throw as well He's also got lateral quickness of 89, which is good. Steel of 93, which is really good. On-ball defense of IQ of 85, as well as driving of 70, which is all right, I guess, with a tendency of 85. Speed 85, speed of ball 78, acceleration 82. His speed was really lacking in the Emerald, and it's much, much better than Sapphire, and a great, great card. The four we have got for like 3.5k MT to 5k MT, Chris Webber. Chris Webber is just a slightly worse version of um, Karl Malone. Webber has got a good three ball of 87. Open shot mid of 84 is not bad at all. He really struggled with his mid-range shot in 2K17, which is kind of, it's good that it's all right this year. Free throw is 75, which is way better than his one in 2K17 as well. He's got a not great, but decent-ish post hook and fadeaway of 78 and 75. Okay, rebounder. Uh, Lower quickness of 80 is good for a 6'9 power forward. Steal of 63, not the best. 80 block is good. Driving dunk of 85 with a tendency of 80 is good. Speed 80 is good. So he's basically just Carmelo Malone, just slightly worse, but has a slightly better three ball. At the five, I'm going to run with um, Nikola Jokic, who I picked up for 800 MT. 800 MT for Jokic. Like, incredible. 88 post fadeaway, 89 post hook, 95 shot mid, 83 shot three. Decent rebounding stats, not a great block of 61. And okay speed of 70. He's just kind of in there as a bit of a glue guy. Like, if I was to make this a 50k squad, I'd just replace him with his Ruby, who goes for 3.5k MT right now. So, um, yeah, these cards are all really cheap. Last three off the bench for 1k MT as well, Michael Beasley. 1k MT for Beasley. Like, this card's unbelievable. Comes with, well, I picked one up with two gold badges, but um, he's got 96 driving layup, good post fadeaway. Open shot mid of 89, open shot 3 of 84 with a good release. He's not the best on defense, well, terrible on defense, but he's got a 95 driving dunk with a 100 tendency, as well as 85 speed, which makes him a really, really good card. And for 1k MT, you can't go wrong. Then we've got another player that I picked up for 900 MT. I picked him up for like 8k and said he was really good value at that price on the PS4 back in the day. 900 MT, Mark Gasol. Like, I've gone over his stats so much. Good post hook, good post fadeaway, great shot mid, decent enough shot three. Not the best rebounding stats-wise, but actually rebounds well. Block, not the best. But overall, just a beast of a card. That 50 speed is the reason why Yoke is in over him. And last up off the bench, we've got a 1500 MT um, Ruby card. It's Antonio McDice. 1500 MT for a Ruby. The market has well and truly crashed. This card's nothing spectacular, but it's solid. And it's 1500 MT. It's a five gold badges. Lob City finisher and posterizer are good ones to have. He's got a good post hook and post fadeaway. He's got a good shot mid of 85. No open shot three at all. He's got a decent free throw. Rebounding's decent. Lateral quickness, not the best. Block, not the best either. Um, he's got on ball defensive IQ 75, which is okay, I guess. Decent low post defensive IQ. Good driving dunk of 80 with a decent tendency. Decent speed of 71. Like nowhere near as good as Weber or Malone. But I played him for a couple of minutes in the game and did quite well. So anyway, that's the team. This is the team you can actually go pick up for 40 gay right now. Two amethysts. One, two, three, four, five rubies. 
and six sapphires for 40k MT. So anyway, now let's get on to the highlights. So anyway, that's the video. In my opinion, this is the best team you can pick up for 40k MT in NBA 2K18, my team. It's got pretty much everything. It's got shooters, it's got slashes. It's got Mark Aguirre for post-up G's. Big men that can shoot. It's got big men that can take it inside. It's got defenders. It's got pretty much everything you need from a team. And it's got a height as well, which is crazy. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.